there's no doubt, golf can be a very wicked game. There are many uncertainties out there, that's for sure. Today there's one thing I'm very certain about, and that's not that my hair looks like that mushroom from Mario Kart. Thanks for that, Sandra. The thing I'm very certain about today is that you're going to like these irons. So if you couldn't make it out, we are going to be testing today the Honmar TR20B irons, and I'm pretty excited about it. What a surprise. So if you're a regular to the channel, you'll know that we like to mix the videos up a little. Bit of a break from the norm. If you're new to the channel, please take the time and hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. Thank you. So what I've decided to do is we're going to be playing today, throughout this video, nine holes virtually, just with these TR20B irons. For everyone that wants more information on these irons, I'm going to be adding info throughout this video, specs, tech, all the above. So it mixes it up a little bit, so it's not all too much of one thing, hopefully. So first of all, let's talk about the eye candy. And it is eye candy. Al is a big fan. I am, you know, I really like them. So Honmar's very own expert craftsman, Takumi, has created, well, some rather outrageous, beautiful head shapes in this iron set. Visually, down at the ball, it's everything you would expect to see between your feet. It's just, just a lovely little package, it is. And the shaping of these head profiles is something we can definitely show off throughout this virtual vlog style. Starting, that was smooth, with this bad boy. Look at that, down at the ball. <laughs> Please be kind to me. Please. So it's um, intimidating in a very attractive way. Intimidating because this is my first shot and I'm hitting this very bladed three iron on the 10th tee, par five. I did go for the tiger line. I don't know if that's gonna be long enough. It nearly was. I could not have hit that any better. Come on. I can guarantee you've never heard this on the golf course before, but do you know what I'm going to play next? My 10 iron. Easy, 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 easy. So for everyone that's going to be purchasing these irons, you'll be pleased to know that the material of choice with the TR20Bs is the S20C carbon steel. So each iron head within the range has had its own CG optimised. So the longer irons, it's all about straighter ball flight. Shorter irons, it's all about control around the greets. It'd be better if it was a bit further right. Oh, okay. Boo. Okay. Don't say anything. Okay. I thought I was going to hit the tree. Oh dear. <laughs> Standard Alberti. Or not, double for me.
Oh. We'll take that after that adventure. These things are so, so pure. And thinking about it, I've not had much exposure with Hanmar as a brand. I think this is the first iron I've ever done of Hanmar. I think it's safe to say it's not gonna be my last. There's one little issue I've got, and it's the naming convention of the whole range. You see, this is TR20B. There's the P, there's the V, yeah. <laughs> but the X is called TR21. The driver's called TR20, but the fairy woods are called TR21. There must be some explanation behind it, but currently right now I've got no, I ain't got the foggiest of clues what's going off, really. But in the same breath, I don't really care. These are that good, they could be called the Honmar TR Cabbage. I just won't bother me. Three iron for safety. It's always safe in there. You know what I mean? You just know you're not going to get attacked by a bear in a bunker. That's, that's why I put it there. Um, so everyone will wonder why I'm doing nine holes virtually with these clubs. Well, these aren't exactly new anymore. They've been out a wee while, but I wanted to include them. So I thought, you know, have a bit more of a lighter side. If these were brand new, we'd definitely go more in depth without a doubt. But at this point, you've probably already hit them. You know all about them. But I've still included the tech just in case you found this video and you want to know the information. So it's really safe there. You're definitely not going to be in any trouble there. Nothing can get to you when you're in the middle of the pond. I don't need to see it underwater. I know it's gone in there. I've, I realised what the problem was. Um, it's so easy to misjudge how strong the aircon is coming off off the, off the right hand side. So just a misjudgment there. It will happen again. Gimme! Who designed this golf course? Bloody Aquaman. Good grief. Jokes aside, it's been a privilege hitting these clubs. We're on the 16th hole, we've only got a few holes left. Better players, assemble. Check these out. Honestly, um, the only criticism I've got from appearance is this part here. Hosel, neck, to be a little bit thinner. Well, I do think it is a standard size. It's just that the head is so compact and thin it seems to stand out quite a lot. Well, I think so. Um, you guys can make your own mind up, but that's my impression that no one really cares about. Swing is toilet. Look, these videos aren't a highlight reel, okay? This stuff happens. I could pretend and always shot five under. Ain't happening, Brenda. That's so bad as well, but it's on the green. Don't worry though, guys. I always make 30 footers. But I read it completely wrong. Just so you know, after today, I'm gonna to be playing no more Jason Momoa designed golf courses, okay? To, no doubt, my fiance's disappointment. Ooh, Jason Momoa, Momoa, Momoa. <laughs> Go on, Sam. Spin, please. He tried. Now, of course, it's left to right. It's gone to Jason Momoa again. This game. What a wicked game. Right, we just need a little baby cut around here. Par four, last hole, around Jason Momoa. Don't be too greedy, though. Um, It's 
It's a wicked game. Sling him on in, you see. Okay, we're not. We're not. I think we should, we should just pretend that that didn't record the rest of it and it, we just lost the file. Yeah, easy, just put an overlay on it. Obviously a club like this, when I'm swinging like I have today, can it can punish you, it's clear, you know. Not saying a bigger iron would have been any better because when you're striking it out of the shaft and the hosel, or even missing the ball entirely, there's no club that's going to help you, really. So even though we had that ball striking masterclass, I can still see how good these irons are. They feel extremely pure, look extremely pure. And like I say, if you're in the market for this kind of iron, please, at least, give them a hit. What have you got to lose, really? So yeah, you could argue that I have missed the boat by quite some time with this club. Um, but if I'm doing that and something is old and I still show you guys, I want you to think that I think highly of it. Otherwise, I'd just be like, yep, we've missed the boat. Yeah, it was not really anything. <laughs> just leave it. This is this is something I kind of wish I did it earlier, if I'm completely honest. But we can change the f format of the video to not be completely tech heavy, because like I say, you probably know all the information by now anyway. If you're not a part of Team Al, guys, please hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. Follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and I'm live streaming on Twitch. Get yourself over there. Thank you.